that? A man with a history of imprisonment dares to propose to us? I, the esteemed lady of the Changs, will never stoop to marry a ruffian. Chan, if you marry Kumong, she your substitute. I'll generously provide a dowry to treat your mom's illness. I'll let you in the jungle. With the prestigious title, marrying with the esteemed status of Miss Chang is my real favor. Let me make it clear, you bitch are the perfect match for a ruffian. It's a matter of our family's reputation. We can't let others discover your real identity. Otherwise, don't expect to receive a single penny from me. I'm going outside for a smoke. Focus is indeed in trouble. The wedding dress I rented stains with mud in the heavy rain. Are you Chung Yao? Yes. Do you have any idea who I am? Yes. You're my husband, Kuma. Kuma. Aha, ah, yes, Kuma. I almost forgot. I am now recuperating here to pretend to be the missing guy, Kuma. We look alike. She has no knowledge of my real identity. Why isn't he saying anything? Is he mad at me? Well, we are officially married now, but I'm still resisting him. He must be upset. I, I apologize. I was so nervous just now. Anything you do to me is entirely justified. Never mind, have a rest. You've had a long day. I understand that you need some time to adjust. Until you've settled into your role as a wife, I won't impose on you. Good morning. Uh, I'm heading out to return the wedding dress. Your esteemed Miss Jung with familiar assets totaling in the pillions. Distrust about running a wedding dress? My father emphasized the importance of resilience hardship. So you know, forgive me. I need to hurry up. Uh. Hey, this is Xing. I've discovered that the lady who married you yesterday wasn't Jiang Yao, but Jiang Mingyuan's illegitimate daughter, Jiang Chan. That makes sense. How interesting. I thoroughly cleaned it, and it's impeccable. Cleaned it? Are you going to a wedding or going for farming? Bah! If you cannot afford a wedding dress, why did you marry? Is there a law stating that we can't get married if we can't afford a wedding dress? I must say, the designs in your store are quite average. If you can't afford it, just admit it. You have designer with help, couture, go back home. You can't afford it anyway. I can take it back for dry cleaning and return it to you. But you cannot talk to my hobby that way. You should apologize. No, no. Do you like that wedding dress? I'll take that one. Are you serious? Please wait a second. I call the designer right away. Can't you do it? If you don't serve us, I won't buy it. Ma'am, I'll measure the size for you. Standing up is wrong for sizing. You have to measure it with your knees down. All right. You are too impulsive. Anything wrong? You should not be angry with them. They always use such trick to provoke customers. But it seems that you like to dress a lot. 30,000 yuan? We can live for a long time with the money. We're already married. Then, don't be so impulsive anymore. In the following days, there will be various financial needs within the household. You are the young lady of the Jungs. Why are you so thrifty? I've already married you, so I cannot rely too much on my family. Oh. I haven't got my dowry yet. Kumang. Yes. I... Shouldn't you go back to your parents' home? Yes. There's a trower in the room. Go to get the box inside. Okay. Since you got married, I haven't given you a decent wedding. These are all my belongings, which are as a supplement for you. Don't worry, I didn't steal or rob to get these. <laughs> oh, one more thing. When you go back to your parents today, I won't go with you. Apologize to your family for me. Okay, I can handle it myself. Don't worry.
I'm worried about Chang Chan. Please keep an eye on the Jungs. You're back. I heard that your husband has a criminal record. Did he mistreat you? Today is your homecoming day, but marrying someone like him, don't you feel ashamed of homecoming? As for my marriage, it's none of your business. I've come to get a dowry. Dowry? I've never heard of it. What do you mean? Make it clear. What are you up to? Let me tell you, you're like a forgotten echo in a distant and humble hamlet, an alone dowry. But Dad promised me he would give me money for my mom's treatment. Your mom, a woman with mental illness, Dad wishes both of you would just go to hell. Oh, by the way, I have to show you the diamond ring worth three million. Dad bought it for me. The gap of three hundred thousand yuan is from your dowry. Dad has never mentioned giving you any dowry. Being a substitute to marry is your honor. Don't disgrace yourself. You. Hey, Shishin, your wife's out. She didn't get a dowry and was humiliated by her sister. How much is her dowry? 300,000 yuan. The Jiangs wants to bid for that piece of land from your family. How much is it worth? About 10 billion. But this land can be sold to the Jiangs or any other bidders. All right then. Make those silly people in the Jiangs be clear-headed. You have an outstanding balance of 30,000 yuan. Please settle it at your earliest convenience. How much are they? Excuse me, I have to check. Mr. Pai, could you assess the value of these things? Tell her. They are worth a million yuan. <laughs> hey, Sissin. Your wife came to me and pawned your family heirloom, the Golden Phoenix and J2. That belonged to your great-grandmother. It's the one I gifted her. She can decide it herself. I offered her one million yuan, but she declined. Huh. Let me guess. Do you have feelings for this girl? Huh. Don't worry. I just want to keep a low profile. Well, I hope that's it. What are you watching? Financial news.